It's your girl Crystal and I'm back with another video if you happen to be new welcome today's video I'm gonna be basically giving an update on the aloe vera mask slash treatment whatever we called it prior so if you haven't seen that video I will leave a link I will leave yeah I'll put a card right here so that way you can go look at that video before you look at this one but basically, um, I did a uh, hair treatment slash mask or whatever from scratch using aloe vera and certain um, natural ingredients that you could practically find in your grocery store or in your kitchen. So I was able to do that mask, which I've seen a lot of other YouTube videos about, basically saying that aloe vera helps your hair grow, yada, 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 yada. So, of course, I wanted to try this out, see for myself whether this actually does work. So, I did that, and now today I'm here for the update on whether or not my hair grew. Now, I don't know if you remember, if you saw that, pre that previous video, I basically took one of my curls and kind of like stretched it onto my face, basically to see the length of where it was. I will play that video right now at this moment so you guys can see what I'm talking about because I want to use that as a reference of whether my hair grew or not whether it's in the same place and basically what I think the mask did to my hair in general my overall thoughts on it separate from that video so I'm gonna just take a strand I don't remember I think I took it from the front and I did stretch it out I did something like this. I'm gonna do another one for you guys to see. So I feel like it's growing. And I mean, you guys let me know. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna have the video playing right here so you guys can see. So you let me know if you think it grew or not. But overall, I do feel like my hair has gotten better in certain aspects and basically um, for one I stopped shedding as much I used to really shed a lot um, let me know if you guys know anything that could help with hair shedding it's not a lot but I feel like if I'm trying all these new regimens and they're supposed to help my hair grow, then I should see less shedding. So if I'm still seeing the same amount, uh, obviously I'm assuming that either what I'm doing is not working, or maybe, um, maybe the, or maybe there's something out there, something else out there that can help um, that I have to do specifically to target that concern. So that's one. So shedding improved. Two, I feel like I have a lot less frizz, so my hair is not as frizzy as it used to be. And um, but one thing I can say, I feel like my hair is more a little more dry. But I've been I'm um, I've been using coconut oil a lot, so that helps. But I think it's because I've been using a lot of gel in my hair. Because honestly speaking. This hair, I cannot get it to do what I want it to do without gelling it down. Like, I literally have to use a lot of product. My hair, at this moment, you might, you, the way you look at, you're looking at it, it, you might not think it is, but after I wash my hair, and depending on whatever style it is I'm trying to do, I'm literally in a fight trying to get my hair to go in a particular way. Especially if I want it to go up, like just literally... I want it to look I want it to look flat without actually any heat and that's where I get most of my challenges with my hair but I really am trying not to do any heat at all so we'll see how that goes I don't know if that's gonna last but I feel like it's been dry but it could be the gel so maybe we should not count that in so so um, less shedding what was the other one? 
gosh, I'm so freaking tired. I can't even keep my thoughts together. Um, but so those are some of the benefits that I found from the mask. Um, what else can I say? I haven't seen like a lot of buildup in my hair. Like I feel like when I used to use products, my hair used to just have so much gunk in it all the time. Like so that's kind of minimized. And I really don't wash my hair that often. It's more like at this point, like for example, today I washed my hair. I'm trying a new product out. So I washed my hair. Um, and I think it's been a month since I did it last so I don't know I feel like my hair does better when it's dirty I know that's kind of weird to say but I think it does so much better when it's dirty like washing my hair every week I just feel like I'm stripping all this nutrients out of it like it just and I already have you know an issue with dryness as far as my hair so for me that's just there's no point for me to actually do that I'm just making the problem a lot worse and actually the shampoo and conditioner I use today in my hair is supposed to help with my hydration. So we'll see how that goes. Also, why has no one told me about Kinky Curly? Like where have I been? On another freaking planet somewhere. I've heard of the brand, but like in all my efforts of finding stuff for like for natural hair, I've never tried I've never tried that particular brand. And oh my god. I watched Jackie's video and I watched this video a long time ago I can't even tell you when she filmed this but I watched it a long time ago and she mentioned that she uses those products and I remember just grabbing a book and a pen and write, jotting it down because you know she has kind of she has a lot of curls kind of like me so you know it kind of was similar the whole um, hair routine thing so I'm like okay let me try let me try out those products if Jackie recommends it then obviously they're good so but I never got around to actually purchase the products so of course I ran out of a few things so I went to my I went to my um, local Dwayne Reed and and I'm like you know what I'm definitely gonna get this curling I think it's a curling custard curling custard I think it's called but I'm, I'm like, I have to get it today. The only downside for me, I feel like, oh my god, it's so freaking expensive. It's $20 for the jar. I'm like, what? $20? Like, but if it's as good as they say, then the $20 is worth it. I'm not even going to argue with that part of it. So, I just, I just wanted to bring that up. This is, that has nothing to do with what we were talking about before, but the only reason why I brought this up is because I used it in my hair today, and look at my curls. Like, can you guys see this? Look, I need you guys to see the bounce. Like, it's not, it's not, um, it's not, like, hard. Like, I've used, like, certain curling mousses, which I still like because, like I said, it all depends on the hairstyle you're trying to go for. But I've always wanted something to just bring out the natural texture of my curls and this product does exactly that and I'm I just finally learned about it like I just wish I would have known about this like two years ago <laughs> it would have been so much better but they look so nice like the curls they bounce you know what I mean and it's not like it has like a little bit of a damp uh, feeling to it but I think that's because obviously you know you put this custard in your hair when it's wet but it automatically brings up my curl texture it's so beautiful I don't think I'm ever gonna go back I'm gonna wear my hair like this forever from now on like I feel like I'm gonna go cuz I'm going to DR in a month well, about like three weeks and I wanted to I was trying to figure out oh my god what am I gonna do with my hair maybe I should you know go back to getting weave because when I'm traveling I really don't want to deal with my hair as much um, and if I do have to deal with my hair I want it to be uh, the least amount as possible like I want to spend like at least five minutes only on my hair nothing else so normally when I go I'll get like weave put in but like water curls because I prefer hair that can actually get wet because I'm having a good time. I'm not spending money to go over there and look cute on the side of the pool. My ass is getting in the pool. I don't care. So I don't really want to have to worry about my hair. 
So, I was thinking of doing weave, and I'm looking at this, how my hair looks right now, and I'm like, girl, this is like the perfect way to have your hair because I can just wear it like this, it can get wet, I can just put more product in it, you know, just to bring the texture back if need be, and I'll be set. So, I don't know, we'll see. I changed my mind a lot. <laughs> So I don't know. Um, I wanted to. Do, I wanted to get the water curls, but I wanted them like shoulder length. I thought that was gonna look really cute. But let me know what you guys think of my curls. I I love them so much. Maybe I should turn back so you guys can see. I just want you guys to see. Look how beautiful they look. Oh my god, I'm so freaking obsessed. But anyway, let's get back on topic, guys. So, I think the mask helped. Uh, I just wanted to bring you guys the update because there's been instances in the past where I've said I'm going to let you guys know about something and I think maybe like once or twice. I'm not sure. But there's been instances where I say I'm going to do something and I haven't and I really don't want to be that person who's not dependable because I've been known as a dependable person my entire life. So, I just wanted to let you guys know what I thought of the mask because I there was um, some of you guys who... Um, mentioned to who commented and said that you guys were going to try it so um i just wanted to let you guys know from my point of view what i thought of it but you know just keep in mind when you're trying this out that everybody's hair is different textures are different it's a lot of things that go into whether a product works with your hair or not so it's you know you really have to take the time to pay attention and see what works for you so before we go, I just wanted to remind you guys, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to your girl's channel, so that way you can come and hang with me whenever we're doing these videos. Uh, if you have any ideas of what you guys want to see, let me know in the comments section. I love interacting with you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you, uh, am, if you also feel how I feel about Kinky Curly, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see what shampoo and conditioner I'm trying as of now, uh, if, if you have a problem with hydration just like I do with your hair, give this video a thumbs up. And if you just love your girl in general, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, which is so important. Hit the red button. Also, if for those of you, if you want to get notified, because I know notifications sometimes it can be very annoying. But in this case, you don't want to have to miss something that I've uploaded. So if you want to get notified of every time I post my videos up, hit the notification bell, which is like, you know, it's the little bell icon right in the bottom. You will get an alert every time my video is posted. No matter what video it is I'm doing, whether it's a vlog, whether it's a haul, whether it's whatever. You will get a, a notification. So hit that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you guys on my next video. And um, just bear with me if you guys don't see a video as regular as, uh, as normal. Uh, your girl started a new job and it's a lot that goes into it. By the time I get home most of the time, I am freaking exhausted. But I definitely cannot forget about you guys because I love you guys so much for those of you who have been with me from the time I started this journey. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye guys.